My second order from AliExpress um, finally came in about four days after the first one, and I will link this uh, store down below. But I ended up getting these awesome washi tape stickers that I wanted to get. This is why I ordered from AliExpress in the first place. I saw Lila, um, I'll link her channel down below, but I love her. And she had shown these on her Instagram. And I'm very interested to see the difference between these and the ones that I got from cloth and paper. Which ones work best? Which one has the most? Right now it looks like these ones have the most, but it did not say as far as I could tell in the description how many dots there actually are um, on one of these guys. So let's see how cool. Oh, it's like taped. Gotcha. Oops, I'm already ripping things apart. Ah. There we go. That is so cool. There's so many on here. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so in love with these, and I love that they have like these more natural toned colors. I think I got all of the ones they had except for one. They were out of like the purples. Like this is a purple, but they had like a darker one that was really pretty, like a deep plum. And yeah. That's okay. So I think that this is the better price point if you're looking to have several different colors as well as more washi dots. I just don't know um, how well they're gonna hold up compared to the others, but they're so cool. Uh, yeah, I will definitely use these and then talk about them and show them in another video. Okay. Then I bought a bunch of mesh uh, pencil cases because I just have so many different pencil cases. I also like to keep little stickers and little knickknacks and paddywax, poly woolly doodle all the day things in here. Um, A6, I was like, oh, is that the size? But they all say A6, so that's obviously part of the company name or logo or something. So it's not in English, so I don't know. That's really cool, aren't they cool? Yes, and I got them in a couple different sizes. So I got these smaller ones because I try to carry less sometimes. And then um, one that's like a medium size. I can't remember if they had a larger size than this. It's possible. I'm not sure why these have little hooks. I guess you can hook them on like your backpack or your bag or something. I'm not sure, but I love them. And I know that I should not have gotten white because white gets dirty so quickly, um, especially if you're gonna carry actual pencil or something in here, I wouldn't recommend that, but um, I don't know. I love white, so <laughs> I got a couple. I also like to keep like makeup in here sometimes, um, just because you can see through and it's nice to see what color of lip glosses or whatever you have in here. I like to put little things in here, um, like toiletries and things, you know what I mean? So. These were all like under a dollar. I want to see they were like 89 cents or something like that. These ones obviously were cheaper than these ones, but I love them. So I ended up getting five, six of them. And this was funny because it all came wrapped and my nephew came up to me and he's like, Auntie, what kind of illegal stuff are you doing? Because he's a teenager in high school. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he handed me this package and it does look kind of sketch. I'm just saying, I won't mention what, but y'all understand, right? <laughs> It was very interesting packaging, but whatever. It came four days after the last one, so I'll put the total, or I'll flash the total rather, on the screen so you know how long it took. It wasn't too terrible. It's just when you can't track your shipping, it seems like forever. Um, I'll also put a link down to the store, or the seller rather, that I bought these from on AliExpress. I think this one's my favorite. And of course there were other colors, but you know me. This is, this is my color scheme for life. All right, so why you're really here? We're here because size matters. Also, before I start with that, my new Sojourner is on the way and I'm so excited. I've been loving this one so much. Um, I'm excited to have two that I can switch around. Um, yeah, but I love this B6 Slim, love it. Okay, all right, so size matters. I am gonna go ahead and put together my rings in personal size I bought from Cloth and Paper. All of this stuff, it's 
I'm going to lay all of this out and I'm going to see how much can really fit in there. You know what I mean? Because I'm using a Filofax Finsbury with uh, 23 millimeter rings and I just feel like it's going to be a little out of control. I'm a little nervous. So, so and I will show you. Oh, look, see, this looks exactly the same. Oh my gosh, look y'all. So are they just buying these and cutting these into sheets and charging us more? Because I feel like that's what's happening at this point. You also? Huh. Scandalous. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so these were the uh, washi dots by Cloth and Paper, and I love the colors. This is the third pack, which is probably buried somewhere down in there. Anyway, but look at this. Look, this is what I got from AliExpress. This is from Cloth and Paper. Okay, so are they just buying this roll and then cutting off like, I don't even know how many sheets come in here. I wanna say there's like three or five. And then they're charging us more for this than the actual roll. I think that's what's happening, man. Cause look at that. It's exactly the same one. Huh, interesting. Let's, let's confirm. This one's lighter. Okay, so none of the rest of them actually match. It was just that one possibly. Does that, that one looks a little bit, this one looks a little lighter than this one. Okay, this is backwards. <laughs> and this one looks exactly the same, yes? Oh my gosh, they totally are just like buying this roll and then cutting it up and reselling it. Is that what's happening here? I mean, I don't know that, I'm not saying that's legal or that I'm angry about it. I'm just saying uh, for all intents and purposes, for all of you out there, that obviously this is the better buy because you saw how many stickers as opposed to this one. But I mean, I'll flash uh, the sticker count for this because I know that there is one. Um, but again, it didn't say how many and I'm not really gonna count them. <laughs> it seems like there's more. <laughs> just saying, I mean, look at that. I don't know. Huh, tell me how you feel about that because I'm I'm interested. Were you aware of this? I don't know. Okay, moving on. Moving those out of the way. Okay, all of this stuff. So I have my Filofax Finsbury in the personal size. This is in black. Love it. I've shown this um, before and I'm going to take everything that's in here out and I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff in and then a combination of some of the things that are already in here I will need, definitely. So... I don't know, will it fit? That is the question. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way and get to work. Now, I am gonna keep these two things in the front here. And this was the dailies that I was working on. Um, I'm almost done with this, so I'm going to put it to the side because I'm not sure. I want to keep this in the back and of course this. I do also have a couple of other things from Foxy Fix that I showed that I can put in here and then I can put things in them. I think that these are supposed to fit like, you can put pictures in here, but I feel like I've seen people put sticky notes. Is that a lie? Like I have these appointment cards from Cloth and Paper. I wonder if I can, let's see, are they too big? I think they're too big. No, they're too big. I guess I could cut them if I wanted to and then put them in here. That'd be weird. I want them to fit. <laughs> okay, those do not fit. Let me see. Um, okay, I feel like it's the same size as post-its so what do we do okay they're not post-its they're big sticky notes post-its is a brand i'm sorry i know that okay um yeah so i can't put those in there the other one i have is this but obviously they're not going to fit in there either so that's a bummer all right moving on letting go of that idea okay so i'm going to put these in the back until i can figure out what exactly i want to put in them why is this backwards they're just going to be backwards i guess is that going to bother me? Would that bother you? This is backwards. I mean, when it's this way, it's not, but it's like a mirrored image. Okay, it's fine. Whatever, I'm going to do it. Okay, so those are in there. I know that I want to put this in the front. 
And if you missed the haul of me uh, talking through everything that I got from Cloth and Paper, I will link that down below. So those are in there. Um, what is next? What do we do? I don't know where to put these, but I want to have like one or two because they're so cute. Um, I need somewhere to put some stickies. And I don't need this, but it's cute if I wanted to add it. Okay, so the next thing I guess I should put in are these uh, dividers. I remember I have two sets. I have the ones that are already listed. Oh, I'm missing one. Here it is. Okay, so they say, again, um, I don't know if you can see. Schedule lists, projects, finances, goals, slash ideas, and miscellaneous. So my concern is that this plastic is very thick and nice, foiling on the on the tabs, but it's definitely gonna take up some space. Do you know what I mean? And I have two sets. So I have the top set as well that are blank so I can add stickers to. Um, those can go in here as well. All right, so I did mention that you can turn these upside down and they can become bottom tabs instead of top tabs if you wish, or you can you know, divide them in half and do a combination of the two. I'm not sure what I wanna have up here yet. I think that what I want to do is put a couple of, you know, everything in here um, because I'm going to be out of the house uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday and Sunday, so that I can kind of play around with things and see what I like, what I'm using, what I'm not. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let's see. So, for instance, what I mean by a couple of everything, like this whole pack here of inserts is the wish list. I don't need these many pages. Now, maybe some of you will need several because, you know, Christmas is coming up and even before that we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but for right now, I think like one will do me. You know what I'm saying? So I need a wish list. Where do you put a wish list? In lists, obviously. Okay. <laughs> And you know how I have that weird thing where I do things like the opposite, where um, I can't have it inside here because I will see that it says projects, even though this is where lists go. So I'm going to put it here so that when I see lists over here, it doesn't freak me out and confuse me. And that's just a personal preference. You do you. Okay. So one list. Okay. Now here's the question. Do I cut them? I think I should so that I can um, pull them in and out. Is that like a thing that I want to do? So I just can pop them in and out. That's what she said. Okay. Like that. And then I can. I like that. I know some people like to cut like a little chunk out, um, a little sliver so that they don't curl up and that's fine too. I'm just, you know, whatever. All right. So I only need one of those. Move those to the side. And then these are the notes inserts. And I, I like a lot of notes. So I'm going to do like five because these also might become not just notes, but like lists themselves. You know what I mean? Like I could put um, makeup here or something or someday maybe list. Okay, so I'm gonna also put that in here with lists for backups. Sweet, um, what's next? Next we have the monthly expenses. Okay, so again, um, depending on how many expenses you have, you might only need one side for the month, but if not, you have two sides. You know what I'm saying? So um, that will go in finances. She'll cut this also. And then we have more sticky notes. I'll put those all here. I can figure out where to put them. Tons of stickers. Okay, so here we have the yearly goals. Um, this is undated. I will also cut these. Okay. See, I'm already losing my mind. I just said I was not going to do that, and then I did it anyway. Okay, that says finance, so it goes here. <laughs> cool. There we go. All right, then we have purchases. 
I was just laughing earlier because my friend Dawn from Enthusiastically Dawn or sometimes on the journal Enthusiast, she was talking about how us planner tramps need to unite and stop buying TNs for 2020. And I was like, I'm all there with you. And then like she made another video just like shortly after in her Insta story talking about, okay, so how many, you know, TNs can I buy in this year before the new year? And I just thought, same. <laughs> How many can I buy before I start a no spend? But I, I'm going to put two in here. I don't feel like it should be more than that. But, you know, whatever. Again, this probably is good with finances. Purchases in the finances. Okay. Section. And then this is cool. I can put this in here. But I think even if I put holes, no, it might not stick out too much. I just don't want it to hit my pen loop. Okay, so I'll put that over there. I'm not as interested in carrying that. Okay, this is just a different set of inserts that says notes on it, which I think would be great for the grocery list or something. Um, I'm gonna put six sheets because again, I like to take a lot of notes, make a lot of plans. I'm gonna put this in the goals and ideas section. Okay. And we have the dashboard. I don't think I wanna cut these. Here's the other one. This is the uh, year at a glance. Now remember in my last video, I mentioned that these are just like a very thick vellum. They're not actually, um, you know, a thick plastic like this, which, you know, it's, it's fine. So now we have sticky notes and I think I'm just going to put them on these plastics. Um, so these are the transparent adhesive sticky notes and you can get these also from jet pens in different sizes and different styles. Like they have them, but they have like uh, lines on them so that you can go ahead and write if you feel like, you know, you need that. And I probably do, but whatever. Now we have, I don't think I have small, would these fit here? Yeah, they would. Sweet, okay. Um, these don't say they're a Bic brand, but remember these sticky notes, like the glue comes all the way down here, which is cool. I like that. I'm going to put some of these black ones here. Now, these are not going to help you at all if you don't have a white gel pen of some kind. So I need to remember to start carrying um, some white gel pens, which I have a couple. This is just the one that I found that day. But yeah, so I need to keep that in order to use that. Or it's just like, also I have silver. I wonder if the silver would show up or not. I'll have to look for it in a minute. Now we can go on to the next one. And I can put some of these, let's say memo by cloth and paper. I like these, these ones are really nice. And then I have these, I think they're in the color cotton. They also say cloth and paper. Those will flatten out hopefully. Okay, and then we have these sticky notes also by cloth and paper, ASAP, meet, email, urgent, and deadline. Um. Do a couple of each. Email. And I think these are fun, but you know, you don't really need to have one that says specifically, you know, email, meet, and all that jazz on there. Like, I'm fine, even though it says meet, with putting email stuff and urgent stuff all on one sticky note. I just think it's kind of cute that they're foiled in black. And urgent. See, all these sticky notes is definitely going to add some bulk so you know they will probably be one of the first things to go if this does not work out okay sweet so 
that's the end of the sticky notes. Then I have these. I only need one that I can put somewhere within. So I'm going to put this in the front so I don't forget. And we also have these dots, which you can probably you could unroll it like this and then just cut however many you need in whatever size you need. These are identical, y'all. This purple looks slightly, slightly darker, maybe. I don't know, I can't tell. Okay, so there's that. Um, I can put this on here. Line this with this and then clip it so I don't clip the leather because I'm concerned that it will definitely leave so there's space to put another one there also, but for right now, that's fine. Okay, where am I gonna put these? I could do the same with these, I think. So have I mentioned that, I don't know if it's just this brand, but they do mark black stuff sometimes on the page. Look at that, I don't even know, but it's fine. I'm just gonna roll with it. So those are there. Where am I gonna put these? I can put them in the back, but I will forget that they're there. I'm gonna put them right there for right now. Oh, I have this, I have this whole thing upside down, good lord. I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> I don't like this side. This side's not as exciting as the other one. You can do it, you can do it, I believe in you. Okay. Haha, -ha. success. All right. Um, I don't know that I need, these are so like, it's fine. Whatever, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Now, I have all of these. And even though you can cut these down and put them in here or, you know, use these, I don't think I will because I'm already like almost at the halfway point and I don't even have monthly inserts or weekly inserts in here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I might just keep this as a list notebook. Right now I love the ones by Coffin Paper, but they don't have them in a Monday start um, available on their website. So we'll see. Now I love these. But I don't want to, I don't know that I want to carry all of these around all the time. Do you know what I mean? So I can stick them on something somewhere. I just don't, I don't know where. I don't think that they would fit in here either because they're too wide. Do you see what I'm saying? Look at that. I mean, I could cut them short. Well, no, some of these are closer to the edge than this one. Like this one is closer. <sighs> Why? Okay. They could fit in the back here just fine. Like that. Um, I just don't know that I want to carry them around with me all of the time. So this is something I definitely need to figure out. The other thing is I got these lovely pens from Cloth and & Paper and they have huge grips on them. I love them. They write so smoothly, so nice. However, they're not going to fit in here. I mean, look at this. The sizing is ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, and I love using this pen in here. So I will keep that there. Let me see if I think it would look weird to try to clip it this far down. Look how weird that looks. I should make it higher up so we can clip whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this and I will just use one of those fancy schmancy mesh, all a mesh um, pencil bags to like keep my pens and things in. Ha ha. I wonder if my scissors would fit in there. Yes, they do. Look how snazzy that is. I like that. Okay. I can't even tell if I'm in frame or whatever, but they all fit in here. That is nice. Um, I think that would make me very happy. I'll also put an Ollie clip in here in case I need one. Okay, so that is everything that's gonna go in here for now, and I'm gonna carry it around, see how I feel about it. I'm going to take some of the things that are in here like what, I'm not sure, and put them in here. Like obviously, I can't show you, but my my ID and things are over here. Like that has to go in here. And we'll see how all of that goes. Okay, so my ID and library card, debit card, and all that jazz is in the back. 
and I'm gonna think about some of the things I wanna keep in here, some things that I don't wanna keep in here. And the next time you see this, I think it will be all set up probably for, you know, halfway through November or the beginning of December. And also I will probably figure out what I want to put in these little sections and label them one way or another. Ha ha, I'm so excited, okay. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.